Hello everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and I'm glad you could join us for the second part of the show on ATP, where we, we left off last time. Now, ATP is a molecule that is very important, of course, for cellular energy, and of course, what it stands for is adenosine triphosphate. And this is something you don't really have to remember, except the phosphate part. Now, the phosphate in any type of situation is where cellular energy actually comes from or begins. And so what ATP does, it actually donates a phosphate group into the energy cycle. And when we talked about the last show, we were talking about vitamins and minerals and how important those were because they make up the catalysts that drive the food sources to become energy sources that of course go into the uh, cycle of energy for each cell. And of course you're not going to have anything happening unless you have some form of energy. And so this is where the form of energy comes from. It's the phosphate group from ATP. And of course what you have here is you've got ATP forming ADP. And you'll see that reaction because you're losing a phosphate group. And a phosphate group, by the way, is a very high energy compound. And that you'll have to know for a lot of the shows that we're gonna be talking about because in many of the shows, we're gonna be going into, of course, the uh, energy of cells, cellular energy of not only healthy cells, but what happens in many diseases. And in many diseases such as cancer, which we're gonna be talking a lot about, what the biggest problem is, number one for the normal cell, is that it doesn't get enough energy. And this is the problem. And this is why people, when they have certain types of cancers, and of course it spreads, and it spreads to certain cells that are very important in certain organs, those cells are being stripped of their energy sources by the cancer cells. Now this is very important to understand. Now, uh, when you have cancer, for instance, and I'll just use an example, uh, a lot of people will understand that, of course, chemotherapy, radiation, uh, any type of supplementation, we'll be talking a lot about those things. But what happens in chemotherapy, for instance, there's a particular type of cancer drug called actinomycin D. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard it. It is a it works as a uh, binder of the helical, the helical complex for DNA on rapidly growing cells or rapidly uh, repeating or rapidly dividing cells. And those are, of course, are cancer cells. And so the concept here of using that type, of, which of course is an antibiotic, which is called actinomycin D or mitomycin, Many people have heard a lot of these different uh, antibiotics that are used. What they do is they bind up the helical DNA so the cell does not reproduce or does not duplicate. And this is very important because you've got cancer cells, depending on what kind of cancer it is, that is rapidly dividing. And this is, it's out of control, of course. And of course, the uh, the actinomycin and these type of uh, chemicals, what they do is they stop the cancer cell from dividing. That's, that's why you use that. But unfortunately, the side effects are quite great in many, with many of these drugs. The reason is you have to also understand that other rapidly dividing cells are also being affected by those, by those chemotherapy agents. Of course, you always hear about people that are on certain types of chemotherapy, they lose their hair, they have dry mouth, they bleed, they have intestinal problems. You know, all of those cells in those areas, such as the GI tract, such as the hair follicles, those are also very rapidly dividing cells. Not as fast, of course, as cancer cells, but much faster than other cells. So you have a chemotherapeutic agent, of course, that's going to be you know, hurting those cells, unfortunately, along with the cancer cells. So this is important because those cells are being affected, of course, by the agents, as long as the cancer cells are. But what you're losing here is the energy cycle. So I think this is very important to understand where all these things tie into each other. 
And so those normal cells are not getting the vitamins, the minerals, the uh, phosphor group in order to have that energy. And unfortunately, the cancer cells that are dividing very rapidly, they're stripping the normal cells of those nutrients. And so this is a very important point. Uh, in the next show, we'll be going on and talking more about cancer and we're going to breast cancer and different types of cancer and really clearing up and decoding a lot of the you know, uh, misinformation that's out there. So until next time, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and please visit the website at drrobertberger.com. And until next time, everybody have a great day.